I'm about to share the single most important word that your business will ever hear, and that is specific. Or, more specifically, getting specific. It's a lack of specifics that often causes a business to stall, stagnate, or sometimes never even really take off in the first place. For example, you might find that a lack of specifics around what exactly makes you or your business unique and amazing might cause you a lot of angst when it comes to writing content for blogs, newsletters, brochures, or even your website because you aren't really clear about what it is that sets you apart from the others. Not getting specific enough about your goals or your targets might mean that you're wasting a lot of valuable time measuring the wrong metrics. Or you might find that you're wasting a lot of marketing dollars because you aren't clear enough about who it is that you really should be partnering with or marketing with in order to target the right customer. On a day-to-day -day level, you might find that a lack of specifics means that you're not really focused and clear on the actual items and things that you need to do in order to move your business forward on a daily basis. Being general often is the easy route because we don't want to feel like we're missing anyone or anything out. And to be honest, it takes a lot more work, it takes a lot more time to dig deep and really get specific. But here's the thing, you do need to get specific and here's the one key area that if you are specific about will help you achieve success. You need to get really clear and specific about the actions that you're going to take to get closer to your goals. We're often great at setting goals and targets and saying what we want and what we want to achieve, but we don't get specific enough about the actual steps that we need to take to get there. Let me give you an example. As a stylist starting out, I knew that I had to make a certain amount of income to live, pay off my debts, my bills, and obviously just live day to day. From that, I dug a little bit deeper and I said, okay, I need to make X. Now, how many clients does X equate to and how much are each of my clients spending with me? I did the math and worked out that I needed a certain number of clients that year if I was ever going to achieve that revenue goal. I then had to dig even deeper. Okay, that number of clients was not impossible, but it wasn't going to be easy. So what steps was I going to take to find and attract those clients? Now, I don't have the time to get into every single step or the detail involved, but trust me when I tell you there was a plan and every step was really, really considered. I knew that I had to engage a comprehensive marketing plan that involved a little bit of advertising but also profile building, um, coming across as an expertise and also harnessing social media as well as a whole bunch of other things in order to attract that number of clients. And when I actually put those actions into place, I started to get that initial level of clients. Then I got specific about how I was going to retain those clients because I recognized that it was a lot of work doing that kind of marketing and it would be easier for me to keep my clients and keep them coming back as loyal clients instead of having to find new ones all the time. So I dug even deeper still and I created a retention marketing plan. Now these were some really simple, simple things that I could do, but highly effective from birthday cards to seasonal reminders to newsletters to my existing clients. All of those things weren't hard to do unto itself. I just had to actually do it. From there, I also created a detailed refer a friend program. So all of a sudden my clients were doing the selling for me. Now that together with all of the other actions that I've taken over the year meant that I did achieve my goal that year. So you see, it's about getting really clear and logical about the steps that you need to take in order to achieve your own goals. And you need to understand that even though it's lots and lots and lots of little tiny steps that you might be taking, each one of those has meaning. Each one of those has purpose. Each one of those has a part to play in the big picture. So don't forsake the specifics and don't forsake the tiny detail. As always, I'd love to hear how this has helped you and your business. I would love to see you in the comments area. Thanks again for watching.